Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom WooCommerce registration page slash sign up form for your wholesale customers. Here is an example I created earlier. As you can see, it's got a few extra fields that the WooCommerce default system does not include. For example, our users can self-select which account type they want to create, can go ahead and click wholesale. And as you can see, we've got these extra fields here where they can enter in information such as their business name and whether they want to sell online only, um, brick and mortar or both. We've also got an option to allow them to upload the relevant um, trading license that we might that you might require from them. We've also got a few extra fields here, which again, the default WooCommerce system does not provide. Once you use the click register, you've got two options in the back end. You have the option to auto approve certain account types, or you can go ahead and put it, add it into a queue to review later on. I'm Brian Harris from optimizeform.com and today I'm going to show you how you can implement a similar custom WooCommerce registration form on your page step by step. Okay, let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your WordPress site and go ahead and visit your dashboard area. So in this tutorial, I'm assuming that you've got WooCommerce already installed. If not, you can go ahead, hit plugin, add new, and then search for WooCommerce. So the first thing we want to do is actually install the Optimize Form core plugin. And you can get that by heading over to optimizeform.com slash YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. So you go ahead and visit Optimize Form slash YouTube. And on this page, via this special URL, you'll be able to get one month free access. So go ahead and do that, follow through this tutorial. It's free for a month. And once you've done that, you'll be able to download and upload a plugin. So now that we've downloaded the Optimize Form Core plugin, we'll go ahead and click, we'll find this plugins menu here, click add new. My internet connection's running slightly slow, so please bear with me. And then we go ahead and click upload plugin. Then we search for the optimized form core plugin. And here it is for me. So go ahead, click open, install. Wait for WordPress to do its magic. Go ahead and click activate plugin. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, perfect. Now we've got this new menu area here. So once you've downloaded the Optimize Form plugin, you'll get a license key as well. So you can go ahead, click activate. I've got my license key here, which I'll copy and paste in. Go ahead, click activate. Okay, perfect. We've got some extra information here about the license. And now we can go ahead and head over to modules. And for this example, we want to install the optimized form user registration plugin. So go ahead, click install. Wait for it to do its magic. Okay, and then you can go ahead and turn it on. And then once you've refreshed the page, there'll be a new menu area here. So go ahead and hit refresh. I could have hit manage here as well. Take us to the same page. So the first thing we're going to do, well, the second thing we're going to do, sorry, the first thing is download the Optimize Form Core plugin. Now, the second thing we're going to do is actually create a new user role. So we're going to head over to user roles here. And I've already created it, but I'll walk you through the steps anyway. So you go ahead and click add new role. And then in this case, we could say wholesale. Um, sorry, in this field, it has to be lowercase. So we go ahead and click type in wholesale. Um, one, you could type tier one or name it whatever you want. And then here I'm going to type in wholesale. tier one 
and this this is quite important so here where it says copy from we want this user role to have the same privilege as a WooCommerce customer. So we go ahead, type, click customer, click add role, and let it do its thing. Um, so my mistake, it's saying that we're not allowed to add numbers here. So let's just type in wholesale hyphen tier one, click add role. Now it's doing its magic. And here you can see we've got the wholesale tier one here. Again, you can create it whatever you want. I've only named it wholesale tier one because I've already created a wholesale user role. And if you want, you can go ahead and delete it and name it whatever you want. So that's step two out the way. The third step is to enable user registration within WooCommerce. So you go ahead, navigate to WooCommerce and then accounts okay yep accounts and privacy go ahead and click that so by default um these will be unticked so you want to go ahead and just tick them off and this will allow um, our customers to actually create an account save changes okay now the fourth step in the process is to actually decide what feel um you actually what information you want to collect from your users so in my case i've already listed out a few additional information i'd like from my wholesale customers for example we want to add a field for their business name phone number we want to get information on what type of business they are whether they're online only brick and mortar etc we'll also like their website url and in this case to demonstrate the upload function we'll also be asking our wholesale customers to upload their reseller permit in this case i've called it and also we want some additional information such as their preferred payment method so, so whether they'd like to pay by paypal bank transfer check etc etc and then also we're going to add a message field so they can let us know what product they're most interested in. So again, all these extra fields you're not able to do with the default WooCommerce setup. That's why the optimized form user registration plugin is so powerful. So now that we've made a note of all the information we'd like to collect from our wholesale customer, let's go ahead and create those fields. So again, you want to navigate to optimize form, user registration. And now we want to go ahead and click on registration fields. So I've already created the fields in which I just discussed, but we'll go ahead and create a new field for the website URL, which we haven't done. So you just click add field. And we're going to name this website URL. Priority is basically the order in which you want it to appear on the registration page. So for now, I'm going to leave it as the default zero, meaning it will most likely show at the top of the page. So it goes in cascading order. Um, zero will be number one. Um, one will be number two. Two will be number three and so on. So we go ahead, and make it active. And here we just want a typical text field. So these are all the different options you can choose. So um, say, for example, if you wanted to ask a question of basically what's, what's the time frame, like how soon do they think they'll be making a purchase? So here, like a date picker could be appropriate. So you could ask a question like, um, like how how soon you were making a, a purchase or wh whatever it is and they can choose a date. That's a random question I just thought of. But as I said here, you can ask for the email, ad email address, um, checkbox, multiple checkbox and so on. And what's really powerful is the ability to have them upload certain information. So say for example, if you run a wine business or something to do with alcohol and you wanted to make sure that your wholesalers are actually permitted 
to sell alcohol, you can ask them to upload their alcohol license. But in this case, for the website URL, we're just going to use a simple text field. So we'll go ahead, select text. Status is active. And here we, we, we only want this field to be available to our wholesale customers. So here where it says role dependency, we'll go ahead, click enable, and then we we'll choose which user group to show this to. So this is why this is so powerful. Here, we're just gonna click wholesale and then click upload field. Okay, so here, as you can see, we've got the website URL field, reseller permit, select pricing, VAT number, and so on. Um, let's see, let's go on reseller permit just to show you what that looks like. So here again, we've just got the, the, the title, the, the name of the field, which is reseller permit. I can go ahead and delete copy. And in here we've select a file upload. We've set the maximum um, upload file size. And also as well, say for example, if you know the license usually in a PDF format or a .png format, you can go ahead and add the different file types here. So you can only allow, so you can choose which file type you want to allow. So you just add it there and it's set to active. They can set the width of the form to full width or half width. You can also set a placeholder. Underneath it here, we've add this extra message, which basically says upload a copy now. Da, 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 da. And here again, we've opted to only show this particular field to our wholesale customers. So let's have a look on the front end, how it actually looks. So let's go visit site. Let's open up um, a private browser mode. So here we're just using the default um, WooCommerce, my account login and registration page. You can create a custom page if you like. But I'm just using the default page. I'll show you how to create a custom page actually. So we just type in my account. Okay, here. So again, I've already done some some work beforehand. So I've added this banner image. I'll show you how to do that also. So here we're asking for the default information such as their name, email address. By default, this is all WooCommerce allow you to, to ask for. So their name and email address. But again, with the optimized form user registration plugin, we are actually allowing our customers to basically self select um, which account type they'd like. So here if we select wholesale, we can see all the different fields in which we enabled for our wholesale customers, such as their business name, website URL, whether they want the price um, to be displayed with the VAT included or excluded, um, their VAT number, where did they find us, leave a message, and then I can go ahead and click register. So th this is how our form registration forms looking so far. Okay, so these are all the fields that we wanted to ask our wholesale customers. And that's pretty much it. So let's head over to the account page and I'll show you my current setup over there. So let's copy this, open a new tab. And then let's click edit. Okay, so here, as you can see, we've just named it wholesale application. It's the my account page, but um, WooCommerce give you a particular short code in which you can use, and you can add that short code to any page. So if you wanted, you could create a page called WooCommerce. I mean wholesale application, and just take it from there. So here we've just added a image. As you can see, we've just added this image here, this image graphic, graphic sorry. And then here we've added the default um, WooCommerce shortcode. And that's it. It's, it's as simple as that. What I should point out as well is if you want the users to use the default WP registration form, if we go WP, let's just go WP admin. It should redirect us to the login page. 
so here if we click register you should be able to see the new fields in which we've created so if you want to use this form instead when you select the wholesale customer so here as you can see we've got those extra fields in which we've created so if you wanted you can use the default um, WooCommerce shortcode or you can use the default WordPress registration page and you can customize this page as well I'll create a separate tutorial on how you can actually customize this dedicated page. Now let's let's walk through a few of the settings that you've actually got in the Optimize Form user registration plugin. So first thing you might want to have a look at is approve new users. So this is where you decide whether you want to automatically approve new users that register for a certain account type and you've got the option to exclude certain users. So for example, you could set it to automatically approve your retail customers, right? Um, so someone that's just buying at retail and maybe you want to manually approve your wholesale customers. Maybe you want to get on a phone call, just review their details, just to make sure they're a right fit. And this is the setting where you would go ahead and do that. So here we just click um, enable approve new users and this way when someone when a wholesaler submit an application that won't it won't create them an account straight away you'll have to approve it first and then you can go ahead and click exclude customer so that's the default retail customer so their account will be automatically created and you only have to focus on the wholesale customer again you can further automate the process. So when you've approved um, a wholesale user account, you can go ahead and write a custom message here just to welcome them on board, explain um, how your company work or any other extra information you wanna give them to help them through the onboarding process. So that's that. We've got another email section here. So again, for these email automation notification series. So you can enable whether you want to be notified by, via email when you've got a new wholesale application. So you don't have to constantly keep checking to see whether there's a wholesale account for you to approve or not. And here you can go ahead and customize the various messages. So once you've approved someone, again, you can create a custom subject line and again, welcome them on board, just walking them through the onboarding process. And again, if you, it's, it's quite self-explanatory really. So just go through and this is where you can add in those automations there. Then when you navigate to default fields, so to save you time, we've created a couple default fields in which you can use on your form, such as first name, last name, company name, country, address, and so on. And as you can see, I've left these as unpublish. You can click publish and that will it'll enable it on our registration page. So if there's any of these fields that you need, so instead of recreating all these fields such as phone, we can go, for example, let's enable phone. Let's set that to publish. Again, you can sort the order. So the highest number being at the bottom and the smallest number appearing at the top. So we've just enabled this phone field. Let's actually check out our registration page and see how that looks. You can go ahead and request user to enter their phone number. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'd highly recommend you download our free wholesale application checklist. The link is in the description below and it includes a few must have fields to include on your wholesale application form. What's your must have a question on your WooCommerce registration form for your wholesale customers? Let me know in the comments below.